This video is about how I'm doing the coils. This is such a coil. It consists of a copper wire and uh, a piece of wood. And what you can see here is the rest of super glue and a thin plastic foil. Why this is so, I will tell you soon. Uh, so, how am I doing these coils? I start with a wooden rod like this and I cut it in pieces. So I have like this. And then um, I smoothen the, the hard edges to make it look more round like this because I don't want to bend the wire, the copper wire in 90 degrees. I don't want to put, put so much physical stress on the cable, on the on the wire. And uh, I do soften the edges only on one side, the other is still square. After that I drill holes into the wood, like here. And Uh, the edges of the holes I uh, uh, soften, I make a face by using uh, this in the opposite direction. That is because the wood is so weak that this is all you really need to do. You can do it by hand. This is to let the screws sink in better later on. Okay, then I screw a piece of wood onto it, like this. And this wood is wrapped in plastic foil. In very thin plastic foil. That is because when I use super glue later on, then the uh, glue will glue to the foil, but not to the wood. So I can remove the wood very easily. And the foil is very thin. It's, uh, it's no problem when it is left there. So what is this tool here? This is something that I built to um, wind the coils. We have here a thread rod that I bend in a handy shape. Uh, if you do that, don't bend too hard because it will break. It almost broke here. Do it with a big radius, not a small one, a sharp one. Well, um, a thread rod. Then I have here two screw nuts and counter it run against each other so they do not move. A washer, uh, again a washer, plywood, um, again a screw nut, again a washer and some wood. This is to hold this thing. It fits perfectly into that, as you can see. And here I can do the coil then. Uh, before I do this, I put on some plastic foil here too, because the glue uh, then does stick to the plastic foil, but not to the wood. Uh, to make make every coil the the same of the same thickness, I use uh, some uh, wood that I put here as distance pieces. So. Now I'm sure all the pieces have exactly the, the same thickness and I fix it, I um, hold it in place with this thing I don't know the English name of that now, but you see what that is So, it now holds and now I can remove the distant pieces and now I can use the wire, the coil. Let me tell you about something about the coil. Um, the coil was round and it was very annoying for me because it always went somewhere. From point A to B, from B to C, it was rolling around. So I um, fixed two, two plywood pieces in triangular shape to it. So it's where I put it now, it stays there. 
and that's good because not only it stays there, it uh, I can put um, physical tension onto it when I roll it open. So then I can put one end into here and then I can start doing the coil like this and this and this and now I have physical tension on the wire and I don't need uh, to hold it anymore I have one free hand and another thing is very handy on the other side can you see that? like this here I have um, a little bit of wire so that I can put this in place and now though the wire is on tension I have two free hands and I can do everything I want. So I get some more wire from the triangular coil like this and I start doing the coil like this. And I have one free hand and the triangular coil is coming to us when I do this, when I go round and round. Like this. When the triangular coil is near, I can fix it again here, so it's holding. Then I have the chance to put some super glue onto it, like this. Then get more wire from the triangular coil and start winding that again. So, secure this again. Again, some super glue. Get some wire again. Always on tension. And do the coil. Okay, I think this is enough. Now I put everything on tension and I put on super glue one last time. Like this. And now I leave it alone to dry. So, the coil has dried long enough, now let's see what we've got. First we cut the wire. Then we can remove this. That's where the plastic foil plays a good role because the piece of wood does not stick to it. Only the plastic, and the plastic is weak, I can pull it off. The same goes for the other side. So, that's what the coil looks like.